Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and I'm excited to bring you guys some interesting news you may not have heard today, and I'm also excited to give you a market update. So I'm going to start with the market update real quickly. What I wanted to cover is that the price of Ethereum has been dancing with a resistance level at about 184, which is essentially about our all-time high, depending on which exchange you were using. Um, we're f fighting with that and dancing with it. We went through a very strong grind to get here, which gives me hope that we will grind through it. However, as we know, if we bounce too many times against it, we may actually fall significantly below and find a new, higher support level. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Next, I want to actually talk about the general market. It, guys, if you got if you own an EC20 coin, you're sitting pretty. I don't know what you, <laughs> I don't know which one is not up today, but I'm sorry if you own one that's not. If you've listened to my channel um, and invest in any coins that I'm interested in or that I talk about or I cover, I promise you you have made plenty of money today. Gollum hit an all-time high. You guys know I love Gollum. I was just talking about how much I'm in love with Factum. That one's just rocking day after day. Stratus, we covered that one recently. It's going crazy. I talked about Stratus and its connection to the Azure platform and how it could be on that platform. Um, really big things are happening with that one. Waves made some big announcements. Um, their new uh, application is going to be awesome. They're talking about having an app where you can buy with uh, U.S. dollars, and that's a huge deal. Um, really, really cool stuff going on with Waves. Uh, Lisk is doing really well. Block is doing great. I love BlockNet. Syscoin is uh, basically even for the day right now. It didn't really move. But Emmercoin, another one that I brought up, another one that I suggested you take a look at because of the partnership with Microsoft Azure. Microsoft being a part of that um, Ethereum alliance uh, is really important. And these are the coins that are going to continue to build partnerships with people in that alliance because they're going to be looking to their partners to advise them on which ones they should partner with. And since Microsoft's already working with them, what do you think is going to happen? You've got to pay attention to this stuff, guys. It's where the opportunity lies. You know, you know that a lot of these coins um, are speculative, but they're building on news, right? They're building over time on more and more news. And if you want more and more news, you've got to find ones that are actually real business solutions that will form partnerships and actually be real world applications. Very critical. Okay, next. We've got the market out of the way, except for the most important part. What is our market cap right now? We are at 86 billion. Guys, can you taste 100? Could we be at 100 by this weekend? I believe we can. I think we'll blast through 100. Because I believe that we're going to get the media coverage to push us further and faster when we break that 100 billion. Because that's just a sexy number that a lot of media companies are going to pick up on and want to share. I know I'm going to tweet it out, right? Like, why wouldn't you? This is amazing what's happening. Our 24 hour volume was 3.5 billion which is an important indicator and just something to think about. Bitcoin dominance is at 44.7 right now. Okay, so there's your market update. Next, I want to actually go into transactional updates. You guys know that I'm all about the transactions and the actual use of Ethereum, and that's where the real value is. I don't focus on it as a cryptocurrency. I focus on it as a practical business application that solves real-world problems and creates more value. Whew, I'm excited. Okay, guys, we broke an all-time high for the most new Ethereum dresses in the history of the world. Today, we actually hit 44,600 addresses. Now, I, that may be the first time you've ever heard that number, so it doesn't mean a lot to you. Yesterday, we did 33,000. That means we're up, and these are new addresses for the 24-hour period. Today, we did 44. We're up 11,000 addresses in one day. That's incredible, guys. That's it. That's like a, an entire city signing up with Ethereum wallets right there. One whole city. 
Um, this time last year, we were doing roughly about 1,500. Many of you listening probably got into this sometime before or after the Dow and around that time maybe. Um, that's when Ethereum first started kind of ramping up because before that, there were maybe 100, 100, 200 addresses a day. All those people who had addresses back then, they're probably all millionaires now if they had any Ether in it. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a few guys on Ether show up and be like, yeah, yeah, what, ha- what happened? Why am I rich? Like, <laughs> why is Ethereum so much more money now? I bought a bunch when it was 30 cents. What's going on? I'm just here to check it out. It's like, where you been, bro? Like, are you living under a rock? You know, um, pretty cool for those people. But this time last year, about 1,500 addresses. We did 44,000. I can't even do the percentage right off the top of my head on that. But you guys know that's thousands of percent of growth. Um, the total amount of dr- addresses over time is ridiculous. We have officially crossed the 2 million, um, 2 million addresses. And that's really important. It's an important indicator, guys. We want to make sure that we're paying attention to this stuff. So just make sure that uh, you guys are logging in and looking at this too. These are your indicators. Okay. Another and very important indicator, the most important indicator, and historically, we don't have a lot of history, guys, so bear with me, but historically, Ethereum transactional chart has actually been a leading indicator for the price movement of Ethereum. I hope it stays that way because we hit an all-time high again of transactions. We have essentially doubled in less than a month the number of transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. The crazy part is is that we also essentially doubled in March as well. But here's the kicker. This month is not over. Okay? there's the potential that we could do more than double and uh, right now it's at a very sharp acceleration we are absolutely on pace to have an all-time high for all-time transactions in a month in fact we probably already broke it Um, I guess it's just a more of a percentage increase in one month we may break that record as well what does that mean that means there's more applications online than ever before there's more people actually in our ecosystem in the community, building apps, using apps. It's really exciting. So moving on from the transactions, let's get to the news. You know, this wasn't meant to be a market update. This is to bring you some relevant news about what's going on out there. Now, most of you have been watching Consensus 2017 on YouTube. Um, My main man Crypto is there bringing us some live feeds and it's fantastic. He's been doing some great interviews helping us get a sense of what it would like to be there. You know, I have a goal to be there next year, and I'm going to work hard to try to do that um, because I just want to be around the people that believe in this, and I want to I want to support anyone I can with what I know and what I bring to the table um, in my professional career. So, that being said, I know you guys are learning a lot of cool things, and I'm going to try to bring you something that probably didn't come out of consensus just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a different angle and more roundedness of like you've got a lot of you've probably got a lot of the same information from different news sources essentially highlighting what happened at consensus right because that's where that's where all the big news is but there's big news happening outside as well and i think that we should all be paying attention to some of the smaller stories um but they're also very important so let me open with this one because this one's big You may have missed it today because consensus is such a big deal. The National Bank of Canada joined the alliance and it basically kind of got swept under the rug. Um, I failed to mention it in my actual review and overview of it. And that's because um, I essentially went through the list of logos of all the different uh, partners and I just didn't recognize the government entity logo. So that's my bad. So I wanted to share this with you because they actually came out and made an official statement, which I thought was really good. 
and it is our objectives to learn and active, actively participate in a promising change initiative for our, our industry. And that was by the, um, by the spokesperson that represents the bank. And essentially, um, we need to be paying close attention to every bank that's trying to get in on Ethereum. There is such a strong connection that it can move the markets very, very quickly if one of these banks make a decision to move forward with implementing blockchain into a currency or maybe tying them together in some way. I think it's very critical that we pay a lot of attention to, I mean, you guys know Ripple, right? And you guys get way too excited out there about ripple partnering with banks but don't forget about ethereum pay very close attention these things are, are going to get swept under the rug because there's other there's so much other news and no one really cares and but you need to care a lot about central banks partnering partnering with ethereum um i just, i mean the, the the types of announcements that could come out from any type of government entity or something closely tied to government, like a central bank, even though many times they're com they're completely separate, we all know they're basically working together behind the scenes. It's really complex, but you guys understand that. We got to pay attention because it, it could be good news. It could be like, hey, we we support it. We are going to embrace it in our country, or. It could be, man, we, we, we're going to outlaw this because this is ridiculous. We don't understand it. It's too smart for us. It gives, it, gives our, it gives people too much freedom, right? Which is the whole point of decentralization. I mean, that's what we're trying to do, guys, is give people freedom. But I understand that I understand what governance is, and I understand that too much freedom can lead to people doing really, really bad and dumb things. Um, there's a lot of people out there right now doing really bad and dumb things with investments. There are people that are not doing their homework, investing in the essentially penny coins, and they have no idea what they are, what they potentially could do. They just, they just don't do their homework. They're going to get all of their money wiped away. They're going to be in a lot of trouble and in a lot of pain. And that's how can we have some regulations around the world to prevent that kind of thing. So, can we please set a good example and do our homework, guys? Make sure you're doing your homework. I hope you guys don't come to the channel and be like, oh man, King Adu was really pumped up about that today. I should probably just buy it. No, you shouldn't. It should be your sole decision, your own discretion. The only thing I'm doing to you is just trying to show you what I'm interested in. Uh, what I think is cool and um, giving you my opinions and my thoughts on it. I'm not anyone's financial advisor, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Make sure you're always doing your homework before you invest. Don't, don't just do it because someone you heard said that they did it, even if it's a close friend. It's good that you trust your friend. Um, you should go validate your friend, <laughs> right? Come back to your friend and add value to your friendship by saying, hey, I did the research and I believe in it too. I'm going to invest with you. That's a cool thing. That's a special thing. So do that, guys. Do that for me. Do it for yourself. All right, moving on. More news. Ether Roll. Ether Roll is a gambling smart contract dApp. You need to download a, uh, a browser, a dApp browser. Uh, MetaMask is one you may have heard of before. You can actually download that into your Chrome extensions. Um, it's an extension of Chrome, so you can go and get it on the extension marketplace. If you're not familiar, that's how you get it. And you can just search MetaMask, one word, download that. That actually is going to allow you to start interacting with the blockchain. And EtherRoll is one way of doing that. EtherRoll is a very simple way of doing it in a very basic way. For you, to, for you, if you've never actually interacted with a dApp before, or you've never actually done a smart contract before, this may be a way for you to go and actually try it out and see what it's like. That being said, I do not condone any type of gambling. 
<laughs> There's a lot of laws out there, guys. Don't break your local laws, etc. Now, in most of the world, you can probably do this just fine. But hey, I'm just here to bring you the news. ETH rolls out, and it's working. Um, essentially, um, you can bet. Uh, the minimum is 0.1 ether. You can set your percentage chance to win. So you basically get to set what it, whatever you want it to be. And then your wins are proportionate with that. So basically, you're, you're basically writing your contract that you're about to agree to. And the, they take a 1% commission. So, you know, there's, there's going to be a house edge. But you basically just stick it in there and you bet. And you win or you lose. It's a smart contract when you do it. Um, essentially, the 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 roll happens by a third party a third party system, um, and basically spits back a random number, and you win or you lose. So anyhow, I just wanted to share it with you guys because one, um, you know, it's up, it's running now. Etherroll.com is running. Um, I wanted to um, allow people the opportunity to check out what a DAP would actually look like. It's this is the most basic DAP I've ever seen. There's nothing pretty to see, okay. But I want you to imagine what the internet was like 20 years ago, and it looks exactly like that. It's very very basic. It has it's 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 to the core only what needs to be on there, okay. So nothing impressive here. There are some more impress in much more impressive DAPs out there that um, I'll share with you guys later. But I just wanted to share that one with you. All right, etherroll.com, that's new, that's out, that's running, that's cool. The other thing I wanted to talk about was Ether Delta. And the segue here is that if you wanted to actually invest in that site, they have a coin. do your own homework on it I'm not telling you to invest in it but what I did wanted to point out is that the only site that I'm aware of currently you can get it on is a place called ether Delta what is ether Delta again ether Delta is a DAP this one requires a, you know a browser as well you're gonna have to get MetaMask or something like that but it's a DAP exchange it is a decentralized exchange right now I can buy and sell ether I can buy and sell EC20 on this exchange without ever creating an account I don't have to give them any of my personal information any IDs nothing think about that if you've ever done investing before, you know how much of a pain it is to try to go and then invest. You've got to give them all this personal information, social security, etc., etc. You don't have to do that with Ether Delta. You could go, you, you could right now trade one Ether for any coin that's listed on here. And they have the majority, if not all, they, of the major EC20s that are in existence. So... I wanted to share that with you guys because if Ether Rolls is something that's interesting to you and you like the concept, um, it is something you can actually go and buy the coin for, which is pretty unique. Um, but you can only do it on Ether Delta, and Ether Delta is revolutionary. There are going to be plenty of exchanges that are decentralized. I do not know which one is going to be the winner. Okay, I don't know which one is going to be the one that we all look to and we all use the, all the volumes there and we have very high liquid, uh, liquidity for all of our coins. No idea. But this is the future. This is what you need to go look at, guys. You need to get used to this concept in your brain. You've got to kind of come to terms with that, of what that future would be like. And uh, again, it's uh, Ether Delta. Um, you can Google that, or you can go to etherdelta.github.io. It's kind of a long one. So feel free to Google it. Check it out. Um, if, you if you conduct a trade on there, 
please feel free to share our, your experience with the rest of the community. Leave a comment below. And leave a comment about anything else in this video that you enjoyed or anything you want to learn more about. As always, guys, I love having conversations with you. I try to respond to every comment. I'm getting so many of them now. It takes some time, but I'm still committed to it because it's the best part about all of this. I can't believe it. Huge shout out to a few people. Um, Connor, I need to give Connor a huge shout out for helping me initially. Uh, Connor has been uh, helping me with this channel before it existed. He helped me pick out the right equipment to get this channel started um, and, and kind of get all my ducks in a row. Uh, huge shout out to Connor. Connor, you are the man. Um, there was another shout out I wanted to do, and we'll see if I can actually find it. Um, but there was a gentleman that actually uh, sent me a link that blew my mind in regards to BAT. And essentially, um, what he was explaining is that Brave Browser is essentially using the same technology that uh, you know Chrome is using now to try to try to be faster. And essentially, um, if I'm understanding it correctly, and I'm not an expert with browsers and things like that and uh, technology, but Basically, it's kind of like the new way of building browsers that it just makes the internet much, much faster for, for browsing, which is great for all of us. So um, his name, I found it, is Charles Bodman. And so huge shout out to you, man. That was one of the most exciting replies I've gotten because um, I learned a lot today trying to read that, trying to comprehend exactly what it is. Um, he basically is saying that Brave, the Brave browser, is fast, but it's nothing special. It's based on the Blink Web Engine, uh, which is something that Chrome basically is built on. Um, uh, he says that Brave is, you know, performs a little better because they've kind of thinned out, uh, I guess, you know, maybe some some stuff that lags, it, that makes it lag or slows it down. Um, but he he, he states that he doesn't think that anything that Brave is doing is like genius. Like there's nothing genius about the, the browser in and of itself. Um, and uh, so that's that's just interesting. So I learned something new from you guys and that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I am much more educated both on BAT um, as an investment opportunity and I'm more educated now on Brave browser and that helps me a lot in my personal decision making and what I think and hopefully that helps you guys too. Uh, he left a link in my last video where I did the part 5 um, ICO update on BAT. Make sure you go check that out. Um, really awesome. Just wanted to do a shout out to the people who deserve it. All of you guys deserve it though. All of you that are subscribing, thank you so much. Everyone that's liking all of my videos. Super huge thanks to everyone that goes to Steam it and gives me an upvote. That's literally like the biggest thing you could ever do for me. Uh, my reputation keeps going up on there, and that's really helping the channel. Um, and uh, it's kind of like a way to donate to me without it costing you anything as well, and that's huge. Um, you guys are following me on there too. I appreciate the follows. I'm like I can't believe it. Even my Steam it account's blowing up, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so so much. And as always, if you like this type of content, if you like this kind of news, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys liked today. I tried to bring you something maybe you didn't hear um, in the big news that's breaking from consensus. Hopefully you learned something new and you're like, oh, wow, I didn't even know about that. That's kind of what I was trying to try to bring today. Uh, and I don't know if I was successful, but I tried my best to do something slightly different because I guess I could just ride the hype train of everything else going on or I could try to actually help you guys learn something new and I just said you know what? I'm just gonna try to bring these guys something that I found that was interesting that wasn't consensus related so all that being said thank you again I apologize that's my dog snoring in the background <laughs> if you can hear that he might be growling he growls in his sleep it's cute all right so that's it guys it's super late here I had a great time doing this video. I love doing this. I hope you guys subscribe and come back again. And as always, I'm the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. 
and I'll see you soon. Have a good night.